the bones and the sutures of the skull. So in the front that we got here the frontal bone, we got here the two parietal bones and we got here the back side, the occipital bone. So the junction or the suture between the frontal and the parietal bones, we call that frontal or the coronal suture. Between the two parietal bones, we got here the suture we call that sagittal suture. Between the parietal and the occipital bones, we got the suture here we call that lambdoid suture. The intersection between the frontal and the sagittal here we call that brigma. And the intersection between the sagittal and the lambdoid here we call that lambdoid lambda. If we look at laterally, in the little view that we can see that the four bones are joining together at this place that in which we got here frontal, parietal, temporal and the saphenoidal. This place here we call that tedion. The tedion is a junction of these four bones and clinically it is important it is a big area because the middle meningeal artery, the anterior branch is passing under it. Backside here we got here the three bones junctions there in which that the parietal, temporal and the occipital. This point we call that estrion. Temporal bone is important to remember in the place that for the suture. This part of the temporal bone we call that squamous part. This suture we call that squamous suture. The suture between the squamous and the saphenoidal. Saphenosquamous suture. Suture between the parietal and the saphenoidal. Parietal saphenoidal suture. Suture between the frontal and the saphenoidal. Frontal saphenoidal suture. Suture between the mastoid part of the temporal bone and the other two. Here we got that parietal mastoid suture. We got here occipital mastoid suture. Between the two nasal bones, we are having the inter nasal suture and the junction between the frontal and the nasal we call that nation. Nation.